welcome to my channel. My name is Mara and I'm a Glendon Campus student e-ambassador. Today's video is all about how I chose Glendon Campus and my program which is International Studies because I know that the deadline for university applications is soon approaching. So hopefully if you are interested in Glendon, this will help you with your decision. Let's just get into it with a bit of backstory, not to bore you with my entire life but just so you understand a bit of how I made that decision for myself personally. So I've lived in Toronto my entire life, actually not too far from the Glendon campus. My high school was a five minute drive away, so I was very familiar with the area. As much as I wanted to get out of the city, get away from my parents a little bit, and just have that experience to really be on my own, which I had never really done before. That financially just wasn't the best decision for me. I know it would be really expensive to go and stay on res somewhere and all the finances and I'd rather just not have to deal with that when I have the opportunity to stay in my home and not pay any of that money. So that really eliminated a lot of options and kind of helped me narrow it down on the three universities in Toronto. So if I remember correctly, while I obviously applied to Glendon for international studies, I may have applied to York for the Kiel campus for another program and then I applied to Ryerson and U of T as well. Once I found the international studies or international relations type of program, I knew that that's what I really wanted. It just really matched my interests and I also felt like it was something I could succeed in. The most important thing to me for choosing a university at least was visiting the campuses. Thankfully, I had the luxury since I am in the city, it was so easy for me to visit them all. I had been to every campus before. I actually visited the universities after I had applied and been accepted to the programs. I know a lot of people like to visit before they apply, but for me, since I knew enough about the universities, it just wasn't necessary to visit before applying. Thankfully, I got accepted to the programs I applied to within like two weeks of the application deadline. I definitely applied fairly late, if not on the day of the deadline, which I don't recommend. I definitely recommend applying as early as you can just to get it done with and not stress about it anymore. I believe I visited Glendon first, which kind of eliminated all the options pretty quickly because I absolutely fell in love with the campus. I've driven past that entrance to Glendon and Bayview and Lawrence thousands and thousands of times, but I never really went into the campus and saw the whole thing. I did know what the center of excellence, the COE, the first building you see when you go into campus, I did know what that looked like, but I didn't see anything else on campus aside from pictures before. And once I went for that tour, I had a pretty small group. My parents came with me for the tour. I really do think it would have been fine to go on my own since it was a guided tour, but they came with because their top choice for me was Glendon too, but I didn't let that influence my decision. But whoever was giving the tour was extremely friendly, they made it really interactive, and as we walked around campus, by the time we were done, I was like, wow, like this is a nice small community. There's not a ton of buildings, you can get from one place to another quickly, there's no 10 minute walks from class to class, you just go all in one building pretty much for your different courses which I really liked the idea of just having that small community and it really just clicked with me that like it is this kind of little hidden campus right off the busy intersection but it's still so beautiful. You know as kind as everyone was I was pretty shy and I didn't really talk to like the tour guide or anyone that we met along the way. I went to like the Glendon open houses and everything like it really was one of my top choices and I still didn't really talk to anyone there were so many people I could have spoken to before choosing Glendon and I think that would have helped me maybe feel more comfortable with my choice because as much as I was interested and I knew that's what I wanted, I think there was still a lot of nerves about is this going to be right for me and speaking to someone definitely would have given me that extra guidance and unfortunately now with COVID of course you can't go on any guided tours on the campus, there's no visits right now. But there's still so many resources and opportunities online to speak to faculty members and students if you do want to do that. I would definitely recommend it, especially since you don't get to visit the campus and can only look at it 
online, it might be actually more helpful to get that interactive experience than instead. Another thing that I really liked about the campus, it wasn't just the way it looked. It's kind of like I said before, I got all these ideas of how it was such a small and tight community, which it truly is. And that was pretty important to me just because I kind of wanted a fresh start where I wasn't going to university with all my friends or anything. Don't get me wrong, of course, I would want to spend time with my friends. But I think I wanted my own personal space to learn and grow on my own. So we get it. I love the campus. A lot of people too. That's great. But how did I choose my program? I did say before that I knew that international studies was something I was extremely interested in just from my general interests at the time and the courses I was taking in high school. But what really stood out to me about any program at Glendon is obviously how it's a bilingual campus. I was in French immersion, so I guess I've been learning French since kindergarten or whenever you start. But I knew that my French skills were not fully developed and that if I didn't continue with French in university that I'd probably end up losing them. My plan, no matter what university I was at, was to continue with French courses. But what's special about Glendon is that I get to take courses for my program, but in French. I think everyone gets a bit tired of practicing their verbs all the time, and it just makes it a lot more fun to take courses I'm interested in and take them in French, which also gives me that opportunity to practice my speaking skills in French and written skills on another level because there are other people in that class where French is their first language so it really challenges me and pushes me. Now for the more program specifics, I really like the international studies program just in general but what makes it special at Glendon is how customizable your degree is. So personally I didn't want to do like a double major or a minor or anything. International studies really is what I'm truly most interested in. But even that is customizable in the way that you can do like a specialized honors and take more courses in international studies or regular honors. A huge part of Grand University for me is having the opportunity to go away on an academic exchange and spend a semester abroad. I am applying for that right now for next year hopefully. Obviously with COVID none of that is guaranteed right now but I am still excited while applying because I've always wanted to go to a country or anywhere where French is the first language and study there just because one like I said before I'm constantly wanting to improve my French skills but also to get to experience another culture like that would be amazing to me. I love traveling. I'm really hopeful to end up in France or Switzerland or I would take anywhere really. I just want to get out of the country and have that brand new experience. And then more specifically with international studies itself, I really like how, of course, that's my major. I'm mostly taking international studies courses, but there has been opportunity to take courses from other programs. I've taken a philosophy course, a Spanish course. This has really given me the chance to see what else I'm interested in because as much as I love international studies, maybe something else is gonna click for me and I'm actually excited next year to take more courses outside of my major and see what really works for me. So those are the main reasons why I did choose Glendon and the International Studies program. I really hope this is helpful for anyone looking to apply to Glendon for next year or in the future. Of course, everyone's personal experience is different when looking at schools and what they're looking for, but that's just what really stood out to me and how I made my decision. So thank you for watching. I do post Fridays at 3 p.m. I know I missed last week, but I won't be missing any more weeks, so feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos all about Glendon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!